Chapter 4 To Autumn by John Keats Question Answers Question number 1 How does the poet address autumn in the opening lines of the poem? Answer The poet addresses autumn as a season of mess and mellowed fruitfulness. He also tells us that autumn is a close friend of the sun. Question number two. Describe the setting and the mood of the poem from the first stanza of the poem. Answer. The setting of the first stanza is the growth under the influence of the sunlight. The mood is that of peace and contentment. Question number three. What happens as autumn and the sun conspire to set budding more? Answer. The fruits of various trees and plants start to ripen to the core as autumn and sun conspire to set budding more. Question number four. Which people does the poet describe in the second stanza of the poem? Answer. In the second stanza of the poem, the poet describes autumn as a female laborer sitting carelessly at the storehouse floor with her hair open and waving in the breeze. Question number five. What does the gleaner do? Answer. The gleaner sits along the river side or at the apple cider press and watches patiently as the juice oozes out slowly. Question number six. What are the few instances of alliteration in the poem? Answer. Few instances of alliteration in the poem are the use of S sound words, example, spares and swats, songs of spring, swallows and stubble. Question number seven. Mention the similes in the poem. Answer. And sometimes like a gleaner, that dost keep steady thy laden head across a brook. Reference to context. Number one, the first reference. Close bosom friend conspiring with him how to load and bless. Question A part. Who is the close bosom friend and to whom? Answer. Autumn is the close bosom friend to summer. B part. How is the friend described in the poem? Answer. The friend is described as a season of mist and mellowed fruitfulness. C part. What are the two friends conspiring to do? Answer. The two friends are conspiring to load and bless the wines and other plants with fruits and ripens them. Second reference. The hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind or on a half ripened furrow. Sound asleep. Drought drowned with the fume of poppies. A part, who is they here? Explain the setting of the scene in these lines. Answer, they is the seasons of, of autumn depicted as a woman sitting with open hair waving in the wind at the granary floor or sleeping at the furrows under the effect of the poppy smell. This can also be the other laborers in the poem, according to the poem. B part, who falls asleep and where? Answer, the season of autumn depicted as a woman falls asleep at the partly done long narrow trench in the field made, or made by a plough. C part, explain the expression half raped furrow and fume of poppies. Answer is half raped furrow are long narrow trench in the field made by, the, by a plough and the fumes of poppy is the smell or the fragrance of the poppies growing in the field. Third reference or 
by a cider press with patient look thou watches the last oozings are by our a part who is thou here answer thou here is the season of autumn b part describe the scene at the cider press answer at the cider press the laborer the labor has a patient is patiently waiting has a patient wait and watch at the juice oozing out slowly c part what does the poet mean by oozing hours by hours answer the poem the poem explains here the extraction of apples and apple juice for preparing cider or vinegar it is a slow process as the juice oozes out or trickles down very slowly now the think and answer questions what is the central theme and mood of the poem answer the central theme and mood is the power and beauty of nature the mood is that of peace and contentment b part keith kids in his john keats of kids in this poem has prepared a rich sensory feast for his readers do you agree explain why and why not answer will be yes i do agree at almost every line and stanza of the poem one can feel the soft and gentle sense of the seasons we can sense laziness in the atmosphere and smells of ripe fruits one can also hear the sounds of the insects and animals at the end of the day and the gloominess because the season of autumn is coming to an end so here the laborers depicting the female laborer the male laborer sitting lazily at the near the river side they all depict the season of autumn